doctors and nurses have read it. Have you ever witnessed a couple have a child that was obviously not the father's? If so, what happened? Worked in the army hospital on FT Lewis. A woman came in for belly pain and we found out and told her she was 10 weeks pregnant. The husband at the bedside started laughing, grabbed his coat and left the room explaining to us that he had been in Afghanistan until three weeks prior. He looked back at her and just said well that's it Brittany. I always liked how classily he left her while she just silently stared off into space. When my son was born they took my blood and his for a paternity test. Um, my wife flipped. Um, the nurse explained that if my son came back not mine they would have to ship her off to a local civilian hospital per whatever regulation they had to follow, army hospital. She still talks about it to this day. I had a vasectomy. While chatting with the doctor, he told me about another patient. This guy had three kids and came in for the snip snip, because he and his wife decided they were done having children. The doc opened up his sack and found nothing to snip. This guy was born without the ability to have any children. The pool doctor had to explain to him what happened. Imagine finding that out that way. This is hardcore. Oh man, I'm so late to this thread. I used to work in the newborn nursery at a hospital. We got the babies right from delivery, cleaned them up, footprinted them, checked vitals, etc. Dads usually came in with the newborns. This dad comes in with this baby. Dad is white, mom is white, baby is very obviously not white. The dad was very quiet standing next to this baby, watching us clean it up. He says quietly, I don't think this is my baby. You could tell he was absolutely devastated. We advised him not to sign the birth certificate until he was sure. Not sure what happened after we sent the baby back out to mom, but I felt awful for the guy. I can feel his sadness through the text. Right. Like he just muttered it to himself accidentally loud enough to be heard. Um, hopefully he didn't sign the birth certificate. I work in anesthesia. One of my colleagues had someone PPLLY deliver a baby with Steve's lunchbox tattooed above the birth canal. The OB, Jin said to the father after the delivery, Congratulations Steve. The guy replied that his name was indeed not Steve. Don't know if that counts. I used to work with a guy whose wife was pregnant. Near time for delivery everyone at her place of business had a big party with gifts, money, etc. So big day comes, water breaks, they get in car to go to hospital. She breaks the news on the way there it's not as, the kid is another race. And if he could just drop her off at the hospital and then leave, that would be great. He took a few days off work, found a new apartment, moved out, filed divorce etc. He called into work and told someone what happened. News spread pretty fast. All congratulations cards, etc. were cleaned up and thrown away. Everyone was very sensitive to his pain. Except, somehow, I don't know how, I did not get the news. So on his first day back, I walked into the office he shared with six seven other guys and said hey hey, daddyo, how's fatherhood so far? Getting any sleep? Got some pictures? Let's see the little tyke. He slowly lifted his head to look at me with a painful look. The room was dead silent. One of his workmates stood up, grabbed my arm and walked me out of the room, shushing me. What happened? I asked, did it die? What's the problem? When he told me I about died myself, I still feel bad for the dude and it's been 30 years. Hey hey daddy o mio, nice one. Hey hey daddy o, rev up those fryers. I worked with this guy a few years back. Him and his wife were pregnant. They were super excited and shared the news with everyone and put stuff all over social media. So fast forward a few months and the kid is unfortunately stillborn. They had a professional photographer come to the hospital and they did a series of photos. Holding the baby, dressing it up, kissing it on the head, you know, usual newborn photos. The bizarre thing is they put them all on Facebook. I found it kind of morbid, but whatever, I've never lost a kid so that's cool. One day at work a guy from a different branch comes into the store and congratulates my co-worker. Slaps him on the back and says all this stereotypical new dad small talk BS. My co-worker informs him the baby was born dead. The other guy refuses to believe it and keeps saying frick you man. Quit messing with me. I saw the pictures on Facebook they go back land forth and the guy finally realizes he's not being messed with. This was the most uncomfortable exchange I have ever seen between two humans. I laughed out loud, because it's my mechanism when I'm uncomfortable. Had a lesbian couple come in. One of them was pregnant, neither knew. Judging from all the screaming this information was poorly received. Sounds about like my life. Found out in our first divorce hearing that she was pregnant, 
The judge wouldn't grant the divorce since her child was conceived during our marriage. Judge even went as far as making me wait nine months till the baby was born and take a DNA test to prove the child wasn't mine. Even though I am a woman, I really hate to laugh at that, but the last part killed me. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Had a college buddy whose fiancé was pregnant. They were the perfect couple. Both had just over a year with great careers starting out. Everything was butterflies and rainbows. Fast forward to the delivery room. There and there and out comes a very black baby. He's quite the pale redhead, and she's a blonde, blue-eyes Texas girl. He made sure everyone was okay, waited for her parents to arrive, and left without saying a word. He moved all his stuff out of the house while she was in the hospital, and cut off all communications with her. Just walked out of their leaves in the most stone-cold act 1D ever seen. They were together for 9 years, and he just left cold turkey. She tried to contact him at his job a few times but he quickly moved up the ladder and eventually got a job in another city. He told me once that he took solace in the fact that her family had already dropped about $10,000 in a wedding that never happened. He's a Gen 4 waiting for her parents. Yeah. I'll admit I don't see myself being able to wait. That said I can't even imagine being in that situation. Real class and I'm sure someone with that fortitude will land on their feet. My son came out and looked really tan. My ex-girlfriend and I are pretty white. I thought for a second she cheated on me. We are now separated for different reasons unrelated to our child. And he is pasty white as hell. Got one heck of a suntan in the uterus though. It's funny how some kids can get some random gene that neither parent shows. My oldest son is ridiculously dark. The whole family is blindingly white. Three other siblings. But he looks Hispanic almost in skin color. Paternity has been established on him. No questions there. He's just our brand's little man who is allowed to see sunlight without three feet of sunblock on. Since he doesn't sizzle up the second the sun hits him, the little show off, pale ass Irish guy here. Well, Irish descent anyway. My son got my wife's skin coloring, which comes from her grandmother. He looks exactly like me except when he goes in the sun he turns brown, instead of pink. I'm so jealous. I'm a nurse, but this didn't happen to me. Friend of mine got pregnant in high school. She claimed that was our local doctor's son's kid so he agreed to deliver his grandchild for free. Child delivered and it was obviously half African American. Doctor's son and girl were both white. I think he still delivered it for free as he was relieved his 14 year old son wasn't a dad. Life pro tip to avoid paying a 10k plus bill at the hospital. Um. I worked as a lab tech before I became a nurse. We had a set of twins in the NICU that were super early and the mum was still in the ER getting sewed up from the cesarean. I was drawing baby B's blood when mum was wheeled over to baby A's I select. She was crying and said, Oh thank god you're not black. I have been so worried the last 7 months. So newborn babies, especially when they're born early, are very pink, almost red. So even if a baby was part black, their skin isn't necessarily dark yet. But looking at these babies, it was obvious they were going to be black. The shape of the face, the texture of the hair, and baby B that I was working on had an intense Mongolian spot. A few weeks later, my NICU nurse friend told me that the babies were now on a no-info status meaning security alert. Can't give anyone information about them. Can't refer to them by name, etc. She said there was a huge fight, because the mom's husband, White Key obviously noticed that the babies were half black and that mom had cheated on him and got pregnant. The real dad, black guy, came in and didn't realize the mom was even married. Those pool babies. I was surprised at how red my 33-weeker was. One of the NICU nurses gave me a mean look when I told my husband that she looked like an old man alien, but she totally did. Why would she give you a mean look? It's your baby. Pool guys too. Imagine finding out your wife has cheated that way or that the girl you've been seeing is married. The two guys should adopt said baby together and start a sitcom. Random note from the side of academia. This is why they don't do blood tests compared to your parents in my college, Marshall University, to teach basic genetics. Too many were finding out they didn't have any chance of being their father's child. I only heard the horror stories secondhand, but the results spoke for themselves. They used to do this in our grade 7 science class. One bad case ruined it for the whole school. A kid at my school found out he, she was adopted Hatway. I was a grade behind them so we were the first year to not be able to do the testing. My parents have been married for 35 years and have 4 kids, but I definitely texted my mom before I ordered 23 and me kids for my 3 siblings as Christmas gifts. Like I'm not going to ask questions, 
but if you don't think it's a good idea, just say the word. I got my parents 23 and me kids too, and it turns out everyone's related exactly like we thought we were. Phew. I took the 23 and me spit kit test. Great product. I loved it so much that I bought a kit for each of my parents for their birthdays over the course of the following year. Mum did hers right away. She had the results in 8 weeks after I bought it. Their algorithm didn't waste any time, either. Got a notification of a likely found parent. 51% matched. Again, very cool product. Dad waited, and waited, promised he would get to it. Told me he lost the kit. 23 and me replaced the kit. Dad waited some more. Finally, about a year after I first bought his kit, I knew that 23 and me has an expiration for them, so I called Dad to just get it taken care of already. We, several siblings, were all kind of wondering if maybe there was a reason he wasn't taking the test. I actually began to question my relationship with my dad for the first time. Why did mom take the test so willingly, and he was stalling for so long? Was there a secret he was keeping from us all? Nope. He's just lazy. Took the test over the phone. I walked him through registration, and had it mailed in that afternoon. 49% matched to my dad. But yeah, for a little bit there, I really did wonder. I had the opposite happen, sort of. My wife and I are both brown skinned dark haired half Mexicans and our moms are both 100% white blondes with blue and green eyes. So we sort of knew it was a crapshoot with our baby, but the nurse who was assisting with delivery had no idea. At one point she gets sort of nervous and calls for help and another I guess more senior nurse came in, and nodded and came over to talk to me. I thought there was something wrong with the baby as she comes over and stumbles through some questions, so I was the father and no one else was coming, etc. Then finally she awkwardly asks if either of us happened to be blonde growing up. I said yeah I was and both the baby's grandparents are blonde as they come and this wave of relief went over her and she brought me over to see this blonde as hell crowning baby head. It's funny, because he looks just like me if you apply a gringo Instagram filter. We often get awkward questions about his heritage and my wife always hits them with a yeah we're not sure if he's mine. It's always funny to see people nod for a moment and then go wait what? Sometimes the copier is just low on toner. When my Mexican dad first saw him he said you took him out too soon. He wasn't done cooking yet. The dad least thing you could possibly say in this situation. Similar, but I don't know where else to put it, because it just makes me laugh. My aunt is a nurse in the maternity ward. She had a couple come in where they were both very black. Lady has baby and it is white as frick. Like, totally pale. No trace of any pigment. They put the baby on her mom and the mom starts yelling about how this isn't her baby and they stole her baby. In all fairness, you can be very confused during, after delivery. It wasn't stupidity. Just sobbing and freaking out and the father is just sitting there and looks very confused because so even he's realizing that even if she did cheat, there was no way the baby would be that white. The doctor and nurses are trying to assure her that this is her baby and the skin usually darkens later. Come to find out, when he called his mom, she pointed out that they have a second cousin who is albino and maybe baby got that gene. Turns out this what happened, baby was albino. Finally, one happy ending in this entire thread. Rough thread when the happy ending is unexpected albinism. My fiancé's father is almost certainly not his biological dad. His mom was just a genuinely terrible human being who didn't even try to hide the fact she was cheating. But his dad loved him from the second he was born and when the mom decided four years later she just didn't want the kid anymore she just gave him to his dad and wrote off. Jay's dad ended up getting married and they tried four kids before finding out his sperm count was too low to ever father children. They ended up adopting many years later. He sat my fiancé down when my fiancé was 13 and told him the truth and that if Jay wanted to test they would, but it was up to him. Jay cried and told him he just wanted him to be his dad and that was the end of that. I originally had put real dad, instead of biological dad. Changed it when several people pointed out that the man who raised him is most certainly his real dad. Man, this is a great story. What an awesome dad he has. It's a good story. They've had their ups and downs like any father and son, but they're really tight now. They don't even think of themselves as anything but real father and son. It's funny to see them though. Jay is 5 feet 7 inches blonde hair and bright blue eyes and his dad is 6 feet 4 inches with jet black hair and dark eyes. Labor and delivery nurse here. Black babies are usually a lot lighter at birth. Not everyone is aware of this, so I've had a few dramatic deliveries where the father looks at the baby and accuses the mom of cheating, because the baby isn't as dark. Lots of drama happens on LND. 
I went to visit one of my African American friends when she had a baby and I was standing in the hall, because I was trying to find out what room she was in, and two men come down the hall pushing their babies in the little crib thing that has the clear sides, one man was black and the other was white, and the black guy goes man, what if we switched babies, you took mine to your room and I took yours to my room, um, what would they think, and they had a good and healthy laugh about that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video please smash the like button and leave a comment which story you liked the most. Subscribe and hit the bell notification for updates on our latest videos. And don't forget to check the links in the description box for more awesome content.